pillars. Number six, spiritual reading. And finally, number seven, the rosary. Yeah, we got rid of that one, didn't we? I don't know why. Why do we get rid of it? Why do most people don't pray it anymore? I don't know. Maybe some old women prayed it too much, you know? I don't know. Maybe we thought they had it done for the whole 64 million of us, you know? I think it's because we're not that comfortable with the, the role Mary plays in our spirituality. You know, of course, our non-Catholic brothers and sisters have been saying to us for 400 years, you Catholics, you worship Mary and the saints, don't you? What do we say? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, it's convincing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we're not convinced. That's why they're not convinced. So what are they? they say, no, no, you Catholics, I heard about you. You worship Mary and the saints, don't you? They say, no, I'm pretty sure we don't, but let me check it out and I'll never talk to you again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You think we could come up with an answer to that one, couldn't you? I mean, you think we could come up with an answer to that one, print it on a little card, print 64 million of them, pass them out one, church, one Sunday at church, Pass them out one Sunday at church and then move on to the next question. Maybe we should put it to rest tonight. Do Catholics worship Mary and the saints? Absolutely not. If you got really sick tomorrow, you'd call your family and your friends, you'd ask them to pray for you. Yes or yes? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. You'd ask them to pray for you. That's what we do. We believe Mary and, and the saints are dead in this life. We believe they live on in the next life. We call out to them. We say, pray for us, guys. You know what it's like down here. Pray for us. There's genius in Catholicism. We've got to delve into it a little bit more. And what is the rosary? It's 20 episodes of Jesus' life. If number two is accurate, human thought is creative, we become what we think, then we should want to ponder the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. We've got these 20 bite-sized portions. How do we ponder them? Through the eyes of his mother. How many mothers we got here tonight? Yeah. Let me ask your mothers a question. Nobody sees your child's life like you see your child's life. Yes or yes? yes? Nobody, not even their father, not their siblings, nobody. A mother has a unique perspective. Yes or yes? yes. I got to believe that Mary has a unique perspective. And I got to believe that every Christian, not just Catholics, but that every genuine Christian would be interested in that perspective. I got to believe that that's a powerful and unique perspective that every Christian would be interested in. There's genius in Catholicism. Genius in Catholicism. I don't know, if, you, if your life is really peaceful, you probably don't need to pray the rosary. But if you hunger for peace like I do, if your days get turbulent, and tumultuous, I think you'll find a real power and a real peace there. Pray the rosary. Powerful stuff. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to visit dynamiccatholic.com and order a free copy of this program and a free copy of Rediscovering Catholicism and become a member of the dynamiccatholic.com community. God bless you. <laughs>